how to send crypto to your Ledger hardware wallet. This is gonna work the same for all of the Ledger devices. We need Ledger Live on our computer or our phone set up. Now, if you're a complete beginner and you don't have this set up yet, check the video down in the description. It's a complete beginner's guide from start to finish. So you can watch that if you want. We're gonna concentrate on actually getting a crypto address to send crypto to our Ledger. So plug your Ledger device in and make sure it's open. Now we're gonna to go to My Ledger down here. Click this and it's gonna ask you to confirm entering into my ledger on your device. So confirm that and click into here. Now from here, what we need to do is add uh, an account and install applications. So from here, all you need to do is look for the blockchain that you want to add. So if you want Bitcoin or Ethereum, just come down here to these on the right hand corner, you can see install. So you need to install the application for the blockchain that you wanna use. If you have assets built on top of a blockchain, then you need to add the underlying blockchain, right? So if you have stable coins or you have NFTs, you need to know which blockchain they are on and then you can send them out. So if you have an NFT built on Polygon or if you have a stable coin built on BNB chain, add that chain in right here. Install it on the right hand side and you should, be, you should see that install. And once it's installed, then we can go and add accounts. Accounts in Ledger are like bank accounts. You can have multiple different accounts within the same Ledger device. They are all linked to the same seed phrase. So if you want to recover them, they're all going to be linked to this Ledger device. But different accounts allow you to split crypto, for example, into a savings account that you don't touch or a checking account that you use more often. So you can create one or multiple of these accounts. Right hand corner, click add account, then choose the asset that you want to create an account for. So I'll choose BTC. I can press continue. Just accept this on the device to create a new account. It's gonna confirm on the device and it's gonna create that account for you. Now you have an account with a wallet address that you can receive to. From here, all we need to do is press receive and we get the wallet address that we can use. So come down to receive right here. It's gonna have this pop up, then choose the chain that you want to use. So simply for Bitcoin, you choose the Bitcoin blockchain. It's as simple as that. Now, if you have another chain, choose the chain. If you have another asset built on that chain, choose that chain as well. So if you can see, I can scroll down here. I have Binance Smart Chain, and then I have a lot of assets built on Binance Smart Chain that I can send in. If you can't find the specific asset that you wanna send in, just choose the chain it's on because the address is going to be the same no matter what asset that you're sending. So just choose the chain that it's on if you can't see the actual asset that you wanna send, and it's going to give you your wallet address for that chain. So click on this, and then what you have to do is press continue. And then it says, open the app on your device. So your device has to be plugged in and it says open app. So on my device right here, it says open the Bitcoin app. The app is what we just downloaded. So make sure that you can open that app. And now it says Bitcoin app is ready, as you can see here, and it's getting an address. So the address that it gives you is our deposit address. Now what you can see here is that we have the address and we can copy it and it says view the shared address matches the one on your device. So on your device right now, the address that you see on screen and the address that you see on the device should be exactly the same. So just check that. If you've downloaded a fake ledger or something, uh, fake ledger live or something else is an issue and it's not the same, cancel out of this immediately, unplug your device. But as long as they're the same, you can then go and copy this. Do not accept this already. Do not press these buttons yet because once you press these buttons, this uh, address is gonna disappear. So what I'm gonna do is press copy on this and I know that I've uh, copied the address and we can paste that in into our exchange to send it out. Now we can withdraw crypto from our exchange over to the wallet address that we have. So I'll show you that. Uh, I use Bybit. I'll leave links to Bybit and the other exchanges I use down in the description if you're looking for a crypto exchange. What we can do is go and withdraw. So uh, I have a Bitcoin address, so I'm gonna withdraw Bitcoin. Then I'm gonna paste my wallet address in right here. And then from there, we can choose the chain type. For Bitcoin, there's only one chain that they support, which is the Bitcoin chain. So we click Bitcoin. Uh, the Bitcoin chain, and then we can choose an amount that we send out to this wallet address. You can double check that it's exactly the same address as well, uh, and then go through with that withdrawal. Now, if you have a different type of asset, like a stable coin, which is built on top of a chain, then you can withdraw. So US dollar tether, withdraw, choose the chain type. So again, if you're sending it on a chain, you have to receive it on that same chain. So go back to your ledger, make sure you have either Ethereum or Polygon or whatever chain that you wanna use, it is the same chain that you receive and send 
That's the same chain and it's gonna go through to that address. Uh, so choose any chain that is supported within Ledger that you want to use. I would always suggest sending a small amount first and eating the transaction fees just to test that it's uh, all working. And then once it's working, you can go with the full amount. My crypto course has 300 videos on how to get yourself set up the right way with crypto. I'll leave that link in the description if you want more info. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.